Capricorn, you need to know this right now for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Capricorn. Capricorn, these are your cards, honey. So, Capricorn, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the earth element, the water element, the fire element the air element and the ethers so with great focus and could really with great focus and intent you can manifest so listen capricorn could be dealing with an aquarius but you're trying to make something happen here clarify the magician for capricorn clarify the magician for capricorn clarify the magician for capricorn it is clarified with the ten of wands Aries, Leo, or Sag, something is difficult, something is heavy, something feels like a lot of work, something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders, something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So listen, Capricorn, you're telling me that you're having a difficult time, something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. So I feel like you're just trying to manifest releasing some type of burden here. Capricorn, you have the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. For Capricorn, clarify the Nine of Pentacles. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn. Clarify the high priestess for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. And this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings. So listen, Capricorn, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or a commitment. So listen, Capricorn, you may be using your intuition on whether you should accept some type of practicality here that makes you abundant 
Or you're telling me that you're using your intuition that maybe you're wanting to release a burden and become single because you have a new offer here coming in. Hmm, dinner and a movie? I don't know. Another commitment with someone else? I don't know. Capricorn, you have uh, <laughs> temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Capricorn. Clarified temperance. For Capricorn, clarified temperance. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. And this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher. Someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy. Someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. You know, you can tell me that you guys tried to compromise or negotiate here. Maybe you were holding back. Hmm. You can tell me that you're just trying to be patient and kind of hold back here. You can tell me that you're closed off and you're just needing to heal individually on your own. You may be receiving something and you're being stingy, keeping it close to your chest here. You have the three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Capricorn, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the three of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the three of swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the seven of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options. But all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Capricorn, listen, you can tell me you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. You can tell me that your feelings were hurt because of some type of confusion here. However, you can tell me because of lies and illusions or the fact that they had other options, you're hurt because they had a third party. You could tell me that they accepted a gift, gave a gift, and went out on a date with someone else. However, they could be trying to make up with you and you're using your intuition that you need to remain single. You're closed off to them and trying to heal. Capricorn, you have the page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Capricorn, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the page of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the page of pentacles. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, 
but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Capricorn. Clarify the chariot for Capricorn. Clarify the chariot for Capricorn. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. Clarify strength for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with temperance again. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise or negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance for Capricorn. Clarified temperance for Capricorn. Clarified temperance for Capricorn. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant or something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Capricorn. Clarify the hangman. For Capricorn, clarify the hangman. For Capricorn, it is clarified with you, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, the king of pentacles. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Capricorn, this is you. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. What about Capricorn? What about Capricorn? Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag, this is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag, 
This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama is taking place here. You know, you can tell me that dealing with this practicality or this commitment, there is some type of argument taking place here. You can tell me that, you know what, I'm trying to be strong. I just want to cut this off, go stagnant and heal individually on my own. If we were dealing with coins, it very well could be that there was a lack of compromise and negotiations going on here concerning the coins. You could also tell me that this person that you're dealing with was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. They may have accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone else. And again, you're telling me that you're wanting to cut, go stagnant, move forward, and heal. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Capricorn. Now, this is just additional messages here. It says... Commitment, long-term relationship. Commitment, long-term relationship. What else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn? And it says, insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. Insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. Hmm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Capricorn, you need to know this right now for January the 14th through January the 15th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.